and welcome in beautiful babes. Sweet Angel here. I'll be talking today about some skincare tips. And a lot of times people think that if you're a certain age, certain things aren't meant for you. Some instances, yes. And some instances, no. My first step of getting clear, smooth skin is face shaving or shaving my face. Or some people call it dermaplaning. I know people are always concerned about, first of all, does shaving cause the hair to grow back thicker or heavier? Or does more hair grow in? Well, I, I wish that was the case because if that was the case, then, you know, the hair on my head would grow down my back instantaneously, thick and long. That's not the case. It doesn't work for your head nor does it work for your face. It just appears that way because of the razor stubbles coming back in. But no, I find face shaving to be one of the most satisfying things for me. I enjoy cleaning my face this way. It also helps to slow the way dead skin that's on the top layer. And it also takes away all of the hair that's underneath my chin. If you're 50 and over, you know you get those little hairs under the chin, the mustache, all of that. So this is a great way for me to clean my skin off. I do this, I do wash my face beforehand, which I'll talk about certain cleansers I use in an upcoming video. So be aware that that is coming, but face shaving is perfection for just making the skin look so much more clear. And then I can get right into the mirror and I can really see some things that's on my skin that don't need to be. And that's when I go into using my blackhead remover pimple popper tool. Yes, I get these little kits off of Amazon, of course. And therefore, you know, just basically an acne kit. You're going to extract pimples or remove whiteheads or whatever you need to do. Hey, this little tool does it and these are super affordable. The one I have by Mentally is on Amazon, of course. Again, if you take that much time out to do all of these things that some people pay lots of money for, you can actually you know, utilize them. Check out, you know, YouTube videos and it'll show you exactly how to use these simple tools to go ahead and extract all of the gunk out of your face. I also use my Gagug, which is very affordable and really easy to use as well. But this little tool here really helps you to get right to a specific little bug that's on your face. So it just definitely is uh, simple, easy, and you don't have to go through anything strenuous to take care of that. So the next thing I want to talk about is a facial mask. Now I am a sucker for a good face mask. I make plenty of them myself, but there are some that I love using that I purchase. And this one is the Avon A New Purifying Clay Mask. Now it's not sold on the Avon website anymore, but I did find it on Amazon. Now the price, I think it may be a little bit higher than what it was on Avon at the time that I purchased it because I did get a few of them and I caught them at a good deal. However, again, they no longer sell it, but it is a great mask for purifying the skin, especially once you do extractions and things like that. This one mask will help to remove the impurities from your pores, especially you just shaved your face, you just extracted. This one is calming, but it's also able to do a job that's very much needed, and that is to purify the skin, remove impurities, deep clean the skin, and tighten those pores so your face will be looking much softer, much smoother after you finish with this one. Leave it on until it dries and then rinse it off. But definitely right after this, do apply some type of moisturizer to your skin because it will definitely dry out your skin. I will leave the Amazon link below. You can Google and find out if there's any other sellers out there that has it. I'm sure there are 
probably are. It was a really good product, but again, they no longer sell it. So, but a face mask for your specific needs is always delightful. And of course you always need that me time. Once I finish the face mask and it's dry, I then go into washing my face. Now those little wristbands are a lifesaver. Generally, I love just rinsing my face off in the shower. However, when I wash in the face bowl, I always have to make sure I put these on. Otherwise, water just runs down your hand. So these are a great tool and you can find those on Amazon. So I rinsed the mask off and yes, it did stain my white face cloth. It does that, so just be aware. Usually I use my little disposable sponges, but this time around, I didn't do it. And now I see more stuff to do on the face. So I go into tweezing the brows, you know. Tweezing is something that ooh, was so popular years ago on the eyebrows and unfortunately, I was part of the whole movement of tweezing eyebrows and subsequently ended up not having any today. Well, they, they don't grow underneath at all, but there are just a few little hairs that pop out every now and then and I just take them away with the tweezers. And here lately, y'all, I have been loving my olive oil. In fact, for probably the last 10, 15 days, I promise you I've been using olive oil and I definitely see a difference in my skin. I usually use it on top of my moisturizer, but today I'm getting ready to do my ice globes. Y'all know I have been using the ice roller for a while. And the ice rollers where I love it and I can mix up my own little blends, it sometimes takes a little bit of time and it is a little bit more messier. But the ice globes are truly amazing and simple. I just keep them in my fridge. I have sitting right here on my vanity or I will pop them into the freezer to really get them nice and chilled for a few minutes I'll leave them in there and ice rolling is something that I don't know if you saw my little short that I put out but ice rolling is amazing the benefits are abundant it helps with lymphatic draining it is noted for helping to stimulate circulation and it also helps in facial swelling. Now, I deal with puffy eyes all the time, so you know I had to jump on board. That's why I started the ice rolling and now conveniently can use these ice globes. So if you're looking for something that's going to help boost circulation and bring oxygen into the layers of your skin, this is your go-to and these can be found on Amazon as well or anywhere. Now these are relatively inexpensive and if you also are dealing with dark spots and hyperpigmentation, it has been noted that ice rolling can help with that or these ice globes. So. I love the way it just perks my skin up. It helps it to get that youthful looking glow after I've completed this session here. And that's amazing. And it only takes just a few minutes. Make sure again, you put them in the fridge or freezer for a few minutes before starting the process. Always start with a clean face. Always use some type of serum or oil or cream before using the ice globes. This helps for it to easily go over your face without pulling and tugging on your skin. I mean, this is just a relaxing, beautiful experience and I love it. I tell you what, this here, you know, is something that I do and have done morning and night. Mornings, it helps to reduce the puffiness. At night, it just gives me such a relaxing feeling after I've showered and then I do this. It's, it feels good. It simply feels good. But beautiful babes, this is it for today. I just wanted to come and bring these few tips, some things that you can start 
easily at home and do yourself just for your little me time. Always put yourself first and enjoy these special moments that you have with yourself. Totally, you'll be loving it. I have more tips coming soon, so stick and stay right here. And please make sure you don't keep me a secret. Please tell everyone where you're hanging out at. Thank you so much. Subscribe to the channel, drop a like on it, and be sure you go ahead and turn on that notification bell because you'll want to know when I upload again. Take care, beautiful babes. Bye now.